everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own acrylic colors using colored pigments. You're gonna need a small pot of some sort to mix the acrylic and the pigment in. Um, these pots I got from eBay over a year ago. I think you can get about 20 mils in them, I think, but I haven't got a link, so please don't ask me for a link. <laughs> but you'll probably find them on eBay. This is now Sugar's Blue Velvet Pigment. It's not really a pig, it's a pigment. Um, it On the website, it's actually called Midnight Blue. So if you can't find this one on the website, it's because the name is different, but the pigment is the same. You're gonna need Mega White, or a white acrylic, not necessarily from Nao, and a cuticle pusher. We're gonna use that as our scoop. I absolutely love this blue pigment, and I need a colored acrylic like this, and I don't have one. And, oh, it's just amazing. Right, so as a general rule, three scoops acrylic to one scoop pigment. So I'm gonna put six scoops of acrylic in the pot and two scoops of blue pigment. Boop. Boop. Right now, because I just wanted to show you how much the color can vary, um, I'm gonna add another scoop of the white acrylic. It's really about experimenting. Um, you're gonna have to mix, or I like to shake my pots, so I just find that the pigment gets really mixed up. You could also add glitter into your acrylic mixes if you wanted a sparkly mix. So at the moment it looks like this. I'm gonna swatch this for you so we can compare this one to the actual color that I wanted. I mean, it looks really nice there already, but wait until I put it next to the color that I actually want. You'll be like, oh, that's so nice. Everyone needs to buy loads of pigments, by the way. <laughs> oh, actually, if you do buy pigments, um, don't forget to use code NATMUGOCT. Um, it's valid until the end of October. So you'll get 10% off your order if you do want to buy any pigments. They are worth having, I think. They're so nice, even on gel polishes, they're lovely. Right, so I'm gonna leave that um, to set and I filed, and I've buffed, actually I think I just buffed it because it didn't really need filing. Um, so I'm gonna go over it. Now it looks like a pretty nice blue, but it's not, it's not a deep enough blue for me, so. I'm gonna cure that. I've put, this is this is the pot again. I've just swatched it on the top. This is, I've put a bit more blue pigment in. Um, and this is the color that I've got, which is perfect. This is just what I wanted. Can you imagine the winter sets we could create with this color? Oh, oh my gosh. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. It's like a really rich navy, oh, it's just mega. Can you tell I like this color? <laughs> right, I'm gonna cap that in clear. And then I will file and buff it. No, I won't, I'll probably just buff it. And then I'm gonna top coat it now. I'm gonna show you this next to the other one so you can see the color difference. I was a bit worried you weren't gonna see it because they are quite similar, but it, I can, like looking through my phone, they look very similar, but next to each other, look, you can see a massive difference. So just play around, the three to one ratio kind of works for me and that's what Karen does. Um, but I mean, if you wanted a lighter blue, then just pop a little bit more white in. It's, you know, entirely up to you. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing and I will see you all tomorrow.